Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Tuesday, April 11th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Folks, let's get right into White Sox news. Tough blow for the Sox. Tim Anderson, according to NBC Sports Chicago's Chuck Garfine, TA has an MCL injury in his left knee and could miss a month. He was injured in a rundown play in Monday's win over the Twins in Minneapolis. White Sox did recall Lenin Sosa, the infielder, from AAA late last night. Also, more injury news. Johan Moncada very likely to miss the rest of the Twin Series with a sore back. And Joe Kelly, get this one. Joe Kelly injured his groin running in from the bullpen when the bench is empty in Pittsburgh. He's on the I.L. Are you kidding me? Do these guys work out? Like, how are you running in, jogging, jogging in from the bullpen, and you hurt your groin? This guy's always hurt. Holy bleep. Uh, White Sox and Twins again tonight. Cubs host the Mariners in game two of their series at Wrigley Field. Hayden Wisniewski gets the start, and the Cubs won game one. Uh, Nico Horner's first career walk-off scoring. Nick Madrigal had a big stolen base in the bottom of the 10th inning. Football news. Lions have traded the former third pick overall in the 2020 draft. Cornerback Jeff Okuda goes to the Falcons for a fifth round pick. They did sign two cornerbacks in free agency. Lions also have picks 6 and 18 in the first round. Ohio State head coach Ryan Day, who's been getting blasted for losing two straight years to Michigan, Got a big vote of confidence today from his athletic director, Gene Smith. Quote, he's my CEO. Sotheby's Auction House announced today a pair of signed Michael Jordan sneakers that he wore in part of Game 2 in 1998 sold for $2.28 million. I was at that game. Maybe I could have grabbed those shoes. $2.28 million. Wow. And Packers president Mark Murphy was asked today... What's the status of the Aaron Rodgers trade talks? I can't really get into that, he said. I know Brian, his GM, Brian Gutekunst, and Jets GM Joe Douglas have been talking. Get it done already. Let's go. Don't forget, we'll have great draft coverage right here on the Recap YouTube channel. And ESPN 1000 is your new home for Chicago Bears football. We will be live from the draft on April 27th. It's expected to be sold out for over 5,000 fans at Soldier Field. Have a great rest of your night. I appreciate you greatly. Cubs and Sox recaps tonight. Take that.